Hey guys, JT back again. I'm in the record room and uh, I went to a thrift store again yesterday after work and, you know, didn't know what to expect and it happened. And it's funny, you know, when I, when I walk up to the back of the store and there's, you know, hopefully there's records back there, I always kind of tell myself, okay, don't have any expectations. If there aren't any, you're, you're going to walk out, you won't be affected, but... Guess what happened? About 27 records at $1.50 a piece. So let me get started. There's a whole lot to show you. And so, yeah, it, it, I did it again. And first off, this is um, Honeycone. This is uh, Sweet Replies from Honeycone from the early 70s. I know this record. Uh, R&B, soul, funky, um, just really Motown-y kind of very sweet record. Very, very nice. I know this goes on Discogs for about 30 bucks, 25 bucks. It doesn't matter. I'm keeping this record. And here's the songs on here. Really glad to have that. And, um, and there's some of this as well. Some David Grisman. This is Hot Dog. This was a big record. This is with Tony Rice, the great, uh, great uh, acoustic guitarist, one of the hottest acoustic players on the planet. Of course, he passed away. Uh, not too long ago, uh, a great shame and a great loss. And if you don't know Tony Rice, please check him out on YouTube, uh, anything that he does. Okay, and a picture of David Grisman on the back. Glad to have that. And another uh, David Grisman. This is also with Tony Rice. And Jerry Garcia used to love, love to play off of uh, Tony Rice. Um, highly recommend uh, Shady Grove. Uh, from uh, Jerry Garcia and um, Tony Rice and him and Tony Rice's brother uh, do uh, a smoking uh, Shady Grove. You can check that out on YouTube or stream it. So uh, glad to have that. And then uh, from Nashville, Tennessee, uh, some amazing rhythm aces. And this is Russell Smith, guys. Uh, third rate romance. Low Rent Rendezvous uh, was their big song. And these guys are country rock, uh, southern rock, uh, popular, good, good songwriting. They used to be on Austin City Limits um, every now and then. So the amazing Rhythm Aces, love this band. A lot of this is mid-70s stuff. And another amazing Rhythm Aces uh, record from Russell Smith and Company. And uh, a lot of this was recorded at Abbey Road Studios. This is uh, America's Greatest Hits. And this is uh, a Near Mint Minus. Uh, this is a little better than the copy I have. Uh, I Loved America, the first album is my very favorite. And um, Dan Peake, uh, one of the three uh, founding members, was my very uh, favorite member. Don't Cross the River. Dan wrote a lot of the great songs. Well, they all did. Uh, so, America, Greatest Hits. And look what was there. Look what was there. It's coming. It's coming. Paul McCartney, uh, Ram. And this is a, a very, very nice copy. Uh, this is a second or third press. I'll dive into the Dead Wax and check it out. And uh, I have uh, two of these. I believe this one beats out my other two uh, for the keeper. So, uh, yeah, we have Ram. There's the gatefold. And, yeah, I'll just keep going. There's a lot of records. And from uh, Bobby Gentry, Ode to Billy Joe. V clean jacket. Clean rainbow uh, uh, capital vinyl. Um, and, you know, she was married to a, a local gentleman, a hotel owner, Mr. Bill Hara. Uh, they were married, um, and he was the founder of Hara's Hotels, which started here in Reno, and they have one at South Lake Tahoe as well. And the Reno Hotel, uh, they're going to tear that old building down. And um, a bit of a shame, I, I did used to work there. It was a great hotel, many great entertainers perform there in the um, in the showroom all right so uh, Bobby Gentry and she was a regular uh, at the hotel 
and another one this is firefall and you may say what you know steven stills uh plays on this one this still has ricky roberts on the record and uh, ricky roberts was in the flying burrito brothers um michael clark the drummer uh had left the band uh by this time this is sealed guys and the thing about firefall great songwriting um yeah um you know i'm not shy to show this one so Firefall, and also look what was here. Of course, the, this next record I'm going to show is uh, being, uh, what is it, the 50th anniversary. Here's Plastic Ono Band uh, from John Lennon. And this is a squeaky clean copy. I already had a jacket on it. I took it off to show it. And um, the vinyl, I played this, um, I played Side A, played beautifully sounds wonderful this is a second press uh, from looking into the dead wax so plastic ono band and um, next up uh, nitty gritty dirt band and this is just uh, if you guys know this band um, of course they did will the circle be unbroken this is an outstanding uh, uh, earlier release of the nitty gritty dirt band Two Michael Nesbitt uh, songs are on this. A really great album. I've never had this on vinyl. And next up is um, some uh, psych folk from the early 70s. This would be Sean Phillips' second contribution. And um, what's really cool, Stevie Winwood is on this, Jim Capaldi, and uh, Chris Wood, all the guys from Traffic. Uh, appear and perform on this uh, on this record so very cool and this is this is a nice record guys I've never had this as well on vinyl or CD and on to some uh, of the female vocalists and performers love Linda Ronstadt and uh, this record is so good Carmelita is on here the Warren Zevon song I love his original version best but Linda you know, covers it, you know, very, very beautifully. So, uh, and I have about three copies of this, uh, but this one is so minty, minty fresh, and the vinyl is so clean. Uh, this is going to be my keeper. So, later on, stand Simple Dreams, one of my favorite. And uh, next up would be Joni Mitchell, Miles of Isles. And I have this on vinyl, but uh, this vinyl plays wonderfully. I spun this um, yesterday. Again, this was just um, yesterday afternoon that I scored these 27 records um, at a dollar fifty a piece. And uh, so miles of aisles. And I got to show you this wonderful picture of uh, of Joni, the the beautiful lady that she is, and still is. Artist, singer, composer. What a creative genius. And next up from Cold Blood, Lydia Pence. And this record is her first solo record, I believe. Uh, this is from 1974. And here's Lydia. Uh, you know, check out, check out First Taste of Sin, guys. The record from 1974. And a great track on there is Down to the Bone. It's so, so good. So funky, bluesy, jazz. I mean, a cooker. So uh, Lydia Pence of Cold Blood, but this is her solo. Glad to have that. And this is interesting. This is on a quadra disc. This is a near mint minus. And Judy Collins, with her catalog, I like about half of her material a great deal. And the other half, I'm not crazy about the production. Uh, you know, her cover of Both Sides Now, uh, Joni Mitchell was never very thrilled uh, with that at all. But, um, you know, let me show you the back cover. Uh, and, you know, the great Stephen Stills and uh, Judy Collins, um, you know, were lovers in a re relationship. And they have that record that they, um, that they joined together on, uh, Judy Collins and Stephen Stills, from about four years ago and uh, some great material on that. So there's Judy Collins on a, that's on a quadra disc. Okay. 
and I found some uh, OG JT, and this Sweet Baby James is near mint minus. I mean, it's so clean. It's more clean than my copy. Wonderful to have this record. Here's the songs. This is such a complete James Taylor album from the first track to the last. Steamroller Blues, uh, Fire and Rain, Country Road. So good. Every, every song on that. Blossom. And then a Greatest Hits I found is just so very clean. Uh, better than my copy. And glad to have this one as well. I'm getting through it, guys. Now, uh, this is uh, going to be a, a Record Store Day release. Um, I have a copy of this. Here's Donna Summer, Bad Girls. And, um, man, this this is a near mint minus. And my, mine was about a VG plus with a near mint minus cover. But this one blows that away. Really glad to have this. I mean, I paid $1.50 for this. And uh, the vinyl is just, it plays quiet and flat. And it just, this record just sounds so good. Uh, and she works hard for her money. And next up would be from the late 70s. We have the great Grover Washington Jr. And this is, uh, you know, you could say smooth jazz, funky, uh, bluesy. This is such a good record. Uh, Grover Washington has uh, four or five outstanding records. And Live at the Bijou is definitely one. And next from uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan, uh, this is uh, Couldn't Stand the Weather, and the great cover of Voodoo Child is on here. So, so very good. And glad to have this. I'm getting through them. And check it out. Look what, look what was there. Deep Purple, Stormbringer, and uh, with David Coverdale. And, uh, you know, uh, Living Where I Live, uh, I used to see David uh, quite often. Um, one, uh, one benefit about being in uh, fine dining and a maitre d' and uh, uh, restaurant worker that I was, I met a whole lot of celebrities and a lot of just regular great people. David would come into the restaurant and he's such a gentleman, very funny, and he would always say very, in, he was so vain, he would always say, how do I look? Do I look old? I mean, David, that's David, and his son went to high school here in town uh, not really very long ago, uh, graduated from Damani High School, and David still to this day lives in um, Incline Village at North Lake Tahoe on the Nevada side. What a gentleman. Nice guy. And got another great one here, guys. Um, hang on. Here it is. Roberta Flack and Donnie Hathaway. This is just, I mean, I, I put it in a jacket right away, in a sleeve. It's just so beautiful. And the uh, cloth cover, uh, I mean, it's just a, a near mint minus. It's even better than that. It's just, it looks like I just took the shrink off of it. And um, what a wonderful record this is. And there's the great Mr. Hathaway and Roberta Flack. Really happy to have this. I had this a long time ago, and it's great to have it again. And uh, if, uh, you know, one thing, I want to give a shout, shout out to uh, Mama's Records. Uh, he has a wonderful channel, guys. Mama's Records. Check it out. He has a fat collection. I mean, just a ton of records. And his knowledge blew me away. He's just so... He's so passionate, very, uh, very into it. Uh, has a serious streak, uh, a lot like me. And, uh, 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 but uh, you, you gotta check it out, Mama's Records. Uh, he's newer on the VC. Now, if Jeff Witcher's watching, and uh, I know this ran a little long, uh, but these three records I got for a dollar piece, and we have the Beach Boys, and uh, Shut Down Volume Two, so good, and uh, th these are on with the Rainbow Capital. And I played all, all three of these records, I'll, I'll show you in a moment. You have The Warmth of the Sun, Don't Worry Baby, so glad to have this. And uh, next up, Surf and Safari, 
I spun this as well. Sounds so good. Uh, Rainbow Capital. Really, really great. Nice jacket. Show you the songs here. And there's one more to go, guys. And that would be, uh, I'm going to show you the hype first, just in case Josh is still hanging in there. There we go. So we have Surfer Girl, the Beach Boys, and of course, Chad from uh, Acoustic Sounds has uh, reissued this um, uh, record. And, I, you know, I think I'm going to pick that up, but this... This out of the three sounds the very best. Best I played side A, side B. So, so good. The Surfer Girl in my room. So, so great. And, um, well, hey guys, that's about it. I just wanted to show you my score. 27 records for $1.50 a piece. Uh, I did it again. Didn't expect it. And, uh, hey guys, take care, and um, we'll see you real soon. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Hi everyone, hope you enjoyed today's show. Oh, and don't forget to hit the, the subscribe button and ring the bell. Bye.